If you're purchasing gifts for friends, family or work colleagues this holiday season, well, what better gift to give them than a wallet top-up, courtesy of Boost Gaming. Grab yourself a wallet top-up for PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo or Blizzard, as well as supporting this channel this Christmas season by purchasing your wallet top-ups, courtesy of Boost Gaming. Link in the description below. Welcome back, PES fans, to a special PES 6 edition of the Game of the Week. That's right, three irresistible derbies across England, France and Spain, courtesy of the Firebird Patch 2021 season in PES 6. We start in Manchester. It's red versus blue. Manchester United host Manchester City in 6th and 7th place, respectively, in the Premier League table. Opportunity for City. Five minutes played. It swung in and Aguero was unmarked and glances it in to give the visitors, the so-called visitors, the lead. It is the Manchester City legend, Sergio Aguero. Solskjaer's defence disorientated. Who is tracking the magic midget? Who knows? Sterling collects. Lindov realises the danger United are in. Aguero misses the scissor kick. And the first touch of doom from Marcus Rashford allows Sergio Aguero to claim a brace with the bare minimum of effort. It's the perfect start for the City rivals at Old Trafford. David De Gea can shoulder some of this blame as well. He was hiding behind the goalpost. Is Mares, Tellez, and Rashford trying to keep up, and Aguero won't claim a hat trick with minimal power like that. Rashford bends one in, it's Cavani at the back post. Edison Cavani has been one of Solskjaer's few beacons of light. In a season that only gets worse and worse. This comes just after Man United being dumped out of the Champions League. They're on the verge of a humiliating defeat to the City rivals. But Cavani brings them back in it. Rashford with another cross in, Cavani trying to replicate. The previous goal, Bruno Fernandes on the volley, well scouted by Edison. Well down by Rashford. Goes for it himself. He's got it through by a deflection. And once again, it's Edison Cavani. There's no spare seats for doubters of Edison Cavani in this house. It's probably the best thing United have going for them at the moment. And now we're all level at Old Trafford. Comes up the face of Arke. And then a showcase of veteran goal poaching instincts from Edison Cavani. Strong reflexes from Edison and Pogba is allergic to the open goal. Well, no hat-trick in sight for Edison Cavani or Sergio Aguero. Progression from neither side is Manchester United 2, Manchester City 2. We've been in Paris a lot over the last couple of weeks on this channel. One more visit won't hurt. We're back at the Parc des Princes for the Ligue 1 derby between PSG and Lyon. First place versus third. Olympic Lyonnais, only two points behind the leaders. Paris Saint-Germain have won their last three games. Lyon, their last four. So both teams come into this in the strongest forms yet. Can Lyon relive the glory days of the early 2000s? It's Gaia. A long ball over the top, looking for Di Maria. Anthony Lopez hesitates. Could have been costly. Gaia. Here's Neymar. Cuts inside in vintage Neymar fashion. Neymar Jr. quicker than a hiccup. Very unfortunate not to find the target at least. Thiago Mendes bursting down the flank. He's taken out by Mbappe. Yellow card for France's footballing prodigy. What can Leon make of it from the free kick? It fizzles out. Well, he's walked straight into Verratti there. Waste no time getting it forward to Mbappe. As Denaya is trying to keep up in Mbappe! What a genius goal that would have been. Neymar has enough time to get the ball in. Mbappe capitalizes on Denaya's misjudgment. And Paris Saint Germain will enter the half time break. The goal up. Excellent instincts from Mbappe. He was anticipating Denaya may miss this. It's a lovely cushion header. Even Anthony Lopez is heading in one direction. Had to readjust but couldn't reach it in time. Fantastic stuff. Mbappe lays it off to Verratti. Strokes it first time. 
and PSG are hitting the jackpot before they enter the break. Marco Verratti, what a pro, no hesitation about hitting it first time on his weak foot. It's all going Pete Tong for Olympic Lyon. The casualty of Mbappe to bring the ball under control and just flick it on. Yeah, I don't want it. Here you go, Marco, do what you want with it. Di Maria. Oh, instinctively reads the run of Mbappe. And even he can't bring everything under control. Toko Akambi has the ball, flicks it up to Bruno Guimaraes. Leon re into the discussion. We pull the goal back. Just shy of an hour, we might have a game here in Paris. Bruno Guimaraes is the postman for Olympic Leon. He delivers the goods, even if it is a little late. Yes, Paris Saint-Germain have been the force tonight, but every little helps. Lyon only two points behind Paris Saint-Germain at the top of the table. 20 minutes left to play. Once again, he's gave it away. This time, Di Maria. It's ready for you to kill Mbappe. He, when he uses his pace, there's only one question. What the outcome's going to be? And he rounds Anthony Lopez. Slots it in for his brace. Not only the future of French football, but probably the future of footballing culture. Kylian Mbappe, building up to hat-tricks in his sleep. Jason Dene is not exactly a slow coach himself, but nobody's keeping up with Kylian Mbappe. A different league, from a different planet. Dubois trying his best to keep up with Neymar. Nobody in the area until Di Maria and Mbappe have anything to do with it. Kylian Mbappe has his hat-trick at long last against Lyon. Excellent improvisation between Angel Di Maria and Kylian Mbappe. The Argentine fashionably late into the area. And of course, the Frenchman really needs a head start. Impressive result from Paris Saint-Germain solidifying his spot at the top of the table. League leaders for a reason. It is Paris Saint-Germain or Lyon 1. Third and finally, in our weekend roundup of delectable derbies, we visit Madrid. The unstoppable Atletico Madrid could kill off any competition from either the El Clasico sides with a victory over the neighbours. Of course, we're playing at the Bernabeu tonight because the Estadio Alfredo Di Stefano is not available for PES 6 from what I could search. Let's not complain though, a big game like this calls for a big theatre, even if it is empty. Felipe's gave that away to Hazard in the worst possible place. And Benzema's won it off the other defender. Excellent shutdown by Oblak. It's Hazard again. And well, this time, smashes it across the face of goal. Modric, Hazard, Vinicius. The Galacticos piling under pressure so far. Marcelo swings one in. Benzema jabbed away by Oblak. Niguez doing a good job of outrunning Marcelo and Ramos. Squirts in the cross and Suarez smashes it against the crossbar. Lodi will take Atletico's corner. Smash just short of the near post. Best chance yet for the league leaders, squandered by Niguez. Trippier, wasting no time getting a ball in. Suarez just pulls it wide from the head. Ramos in a good attacking position to Tony Kroos, who tries to turn in sharp, but it's too weak. Hazard. Benzema over the top to Vinicius. Does well to squeeze the strike on the turn. Good improvisation from Vinicius and a great save from Oblak keeping the scores level. Atletico are hanging in there. He's bobbling all around the place like a pinball. Lorente trying to capitalize. Tony Kroos. Hazard returns the favor back to the German. And finally we have a breakthrough at the Bernabeu. Tony Kroos. Punctuates the Real Madrid attack with a goal. It's taken just over an hour for the breakthrough in the Madrid derby. Superb give and go from Tony Kroos. Releases it to Hazard and carries on surging into the centre. The La Liga leaders are losing. It's Hazard again. How brilliant has he been this evening? Kroos! Whoa! That is a goal that has no right to be scored. With that kind of context, only a man like Tony Kroos can pull something like that from out of his Bavarian. 
Look at the way he wraps his boot around it with practically his back to goal. Even Oblak isn't expecting it. Suarez. Carrera hops past Verane. Carrera shoots and hits the post and it teases him by resisting the goal line. Angel Carrera, unfortunate. Will the Atletico Express experiences a delay in their own city. Two precision goals from Tony Kroos. Buys Real Madrid some more time. It is Real Madrid 2, Atletico 0. So, what did you think of PES 6? Do you want to see some more games simulated on this classic? The new PES 2021 DLC kind of buggered up my patch. So I thought I'd find out how the amazing PES 6 community was still keeping this game alive and updated. The link to the patch will be in the description. And thank you for watching.